Hello everyone, it's November 23rd, 2014. Just looking online at some of the handwriting samples of today and some of the abbreviations that teenagers use for texting and the way that young people are writing these days. And there has been a real change in the way that we communicate, but also in the handwritten word. And these are just some examples of text messages, how you can abbreviate for example, BTW means by the way, BRB, be right back, TTYL, talk to you later, LOL, laugh out loud, and then the number two followed by day for today. And also I was looking around for just some teenage handwriting samples, and there's a lot of them on the internet, and some are good and some are bad. Um, but I have noticed over the years just a real change in the way that we communicate, and it's not good. A lot of the handwriting is different. It's not as clear. It's not as neat. It's sloppy. Their, the use of cursive is diminished. And as I'm looking at some of these, it's just kind of hard to read. And some of them are good. Some of them are well written, a lot of them need some work, and I also was comparing my mother's high school yearbooks from 1957 and 1959, and if you compare some of the writing samples of today versus the writing samples over 50 years ago, there is quite a difference in the penmanship and the use of cursive and just the overall way that students spell these days. So I'll show you my mother's yearbooks. These are some examples of how people used to write back then. It was very clear. The penmanship was very very neat. And this is another one over here. Nice handwriting skills, the use of cursive, even all the way in the back here, there are just better, better punctuation, better use of the English, English language. And I have a fear that we are just being dummied down. Some folks don't know how to write. Some folks don't know how to read, and that's very dangerous in the world that we're living in. Just wanted to point these things that I've been noticing lately. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.